if you want to create PDFs that look like this from Google Sheets rows that look like this using just Google tools for free, then keep watching because this video is for you. So why would you only want to use Google tools? Well, for example, let's say that your sheet contains customer data like invoices. And in that case, you probably wouldn't want to share that data with some random external tool because it contains your customer's actual personal information. Instead, you'd probably want to keep that data within Google, which presumably you already trust since you already have the data there in your sheet. And that's what we're going to cover here, how to create a PDF from each row within your Google Sheet using only Google tools. We're going to use both Google Sheets and Google App Sheet in order to be able to do this. And if you're not familiar with AppSheet, it's primarily a tool that lets you build apps from data that you have in either Google Sheets or other data sources. But it can do a lot more than just that. And we're not going to use it to build an app here, but instead we're going to use some of its built-in automation features in order to create PDFs from the rows that we have in our Google Sheet. So we're going to start here in Google Sheets. And you see that I've got a sheet here that's got a bunch of invoices in it. And I want to create a new... PDF for each one of these invoices for that particular row within my sheet. And the first thing that we want to do in Google Sheets is just make sure that our sheet actually has the same name as our document, or at least that our sheet has a name other than sheet one, which is down here currently. So I'm going to take the name from my document, just because again, in this case, I want them to both be named the same thing. And I'm just going to name that invoices down here by pasting that. And now I can go ahead and create my app sheet app from that. And I can do that by going up here and going to app sheet and saying, create app. And this does take a few seconds. And once it comes up, you'll see your app sheet app here and you can say customize with app sheet. All right. The first thing we want to look at in app sheet is our data menu here. And with app sheet, all of your data actually continues to live within the original place that it lives. So in this case, our Google Sheet. And the data menu is basically just showing you what that data looks like. So it looked at all of our column headers in there and it looked at our data. And so it created a table here called invoices based on the sheet name that we just entered down at the bottom. It gave all of our columns here based on what the headers within our Google Sheet were. And it figured out or at least made an assumption about what the different data types for each one of those columns were based on what it actually saw within the sheet. So that's how that works. We don't really need to mess with that too much in this particular uh, example here, since we're mainly focusing on creating an automation and not an actual app, but that's just a little bit of background as far as what AppSheet is actually doing here. And next we wanna go over to our automation menu, and that's the one that's got the robot icon here. So I'm gonna click that, I'm gonna say create my first automation, and then I'm gonna say create a bot underneath that. And I want to name this bot slash automation. They're kind of the same thing as far as this is concerned. But I want to name this uh, create PDF because overall that's what we're going to do here is have uh, automation that creates a PDF. And the next thing I need to do is actually configure the event that triggers this automation running. So AppSheet works by triggering off events that happen within your data sources. So in this case, what we want to trigger on is a row being added to our invoices sheet. And when one of those rows is added or when multiple rows are added, we want to trigger this automation to run and actually create PDFs for each one of those rows. So to do that, I'm gonna hit configure event. I'm gonna say uh, create new event. I'm gonna call this row added. And you see the event source is, is the app. Okay, that's fine, that's the default. That's what you wanna keep selected there. The table is invoices. Again, the, the invoices table that we just linked to, uh, and what we wanna detect is a change, uh, an add change to so a row being added. So I can leave that one checked and I can uncheck these other two here. All right, so that's our trigger. And then the next thing we wanna do is add the actual step for when a row is added to create a PDF. So I'm gonna click add step here. I'm gonna hit create new step. I'm gonna select that step here and we're gonna uh, also call this one create PDF because more specifically than up here, that's what this one's gonna do, is create the PDF. And underneath our settings over here on the right, we wanna select create a new file, and we want the file type to be PDF, or the, sorry, the HTTP content type. And then it's asking for a template. So basically when you create a PDF, 
app sheet needs to know what do you want that PDF to look like? You know, you have this data within a row within sheets, but how do you want that to actually be formatted in the PDF that you create to correspond to that row? So what it will do is create a default template for you to start working with, and then you can edit that to make it look more like what you want it to look like. So to create the default, what you do is just click this create button here. Again, takes a few seconds. And once that's done, you can click view here to see what it actually created. So you see it's created about the most basic thing possible. Something that says task for create PDF uh, invoices. And then it's got basically all the columns from that particular row. So it's going to take that row and it's going to create a PDF that looks just like this and replace all these little bracketed placeholder things, which with whatever the values are for that particular row. So we're going to look at how we can make this look a lot nicer and very easily using AI as we get a little bit further in the video. But for now, we're just going to use this so we can get our initial automation working. So I'm going to close that. Uh, and going down here, one other thing we want to change is right now it has the file name prefix, which is really the actual file name. Not, it, it is a prefix, but it's also the actual file name that it's going to use when it creates our PDF. So in our case, we've got, if I look back at my sheet here, we've got a uh, invoice number for each one of our invoices. So we want to use that as the name of the PDF that gets created. So in order to do that, I can click where it says file name prefix. I can delete what it's got in there right now, which is just app sheet doc. So right now, if it creates a PDF, it's going to call it app sheet doc, like that actual name plus a string with a current date. And I'll show you where the date is coming from in a second. But we want to change this, this part to be the actual PDF name. So I can delete, or sorry, the actual uh, invoice name. So I can delete what's there. And down here, it's showing all the information that's being passed in by AppSheet for the particular row that we're working with in this automation. So that's the, the thing that triggered this automation to run. It's passing in the actual row and we can use the values from within the row in what we're doing here. So what I want is the invoice number. So what I can do is just click this insert next to the invoice number. It's going to insert in that, that in there. I can click save and that is done. And we're all done with this for now. So you can click save up here in order to save your app sheet app at this point. All right. So theoretically, this would go and create all of my invoices right now because I've got a bunch of rows within my sheet. I just created this automation. So again, theoretically, it's going to do it. The reason it's not going to actually do that is because we haven't actually added any rows. Again, our trigger is up at the top here saying to do this when a row is added to our sheet and the rows were already there. Nothing has been added at this point. So let's go back and look at how we can address that to make this actually treat all the rows that we've got in our sheet currently as added and actually create invoices for them. So we need to go back to our sheet again to do that. And what I want to do here is actually duplicate what we've got in our current sheet. So I'm going to do that by going down here and saying duplicate. I'm going to call this one to invoice. And that's going to have everything that we want to actually add into our kind of sheet, this link to app sheet and in order to actually generate those invoices. So this is our a copy of our original sheet. And back in the one that is linked to app sheet, I'm going to go and to just delete all the data that's there so that there's nothing in that sheet. So there's everything that's going to be added into that sheet from now on is an add, which is they're going to for going to trigger our automation to run. But before we get there, there's one more thing that we need to do, and that's set up Google Sheets so it actually tells AppSheet when something changes. Unfortunately, at this point in time, this isn't something that's completely built in between the two of them, this integration. So you need to use an add-on in order to be able to do that notification. It is a Google add-on. It's something that's built by Google and maintained by Google. So everything that you're doing here is still staying within the Google ecosystem, but you do need to actually add this uh, notification add-on into your sheet in order for it to be able to tell app sheet that something happened. Uh, so the way that you do that is going again, going up to extensions up here, and we're going to go to add-ons and we're going to say get add-ons. And we want to just search up here for app sheet. 
And you see there's one here, it's called AppSheet Events. It again is published and maintained by Google. So what you're doing is staying within the Google uh, ecosystem and it's got this AppSheet icon. So I've already got it installed at this point. If you don't have this installed yet, you would have to do that. And once you do, it will show up under your extensions menu here uh, as AppSheet Events. And what you need to do is really two things. First, you need to enable it for this document. So you do that by clicking there. And it says now enabled for the document down here. And then the next thing you need to do is select which table you want it to be on for. So again, go back to AppSheet again, events again, select turn events on and off and select invoices because the invoices table, the first one we link to AppSheet is the one that we want the notifications to actually be sent for. All right, now that we've done that, when I actually add a record into this table, it should go ahead and create my PDF for it using the template that we set up. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my two invoice. I'm just gonna take invoice number one. I'm gonna copy that row. I'm gonna paste it in here over to my sheet. And then we're gonna wait a few seconds. So what's gonna happen here is AppSheet's gonna now detect that change actually happening. It's gonna pick that up in the background. It's gonna create a PDF for it and it's gonna use the name that we specified, which is the invoice name, and it's gonna save it to your Google Drive. In a minute, we'll look at how to figure out exactly where it's saving it. But for right now, we can just look at our recent documents and we should see that that PDF is now showing up again using that template. So let me go back to my Google Drive again here. If I select recent, you see it's got invoice 111 and you see that it did put the timestamp <laughs> behind it. I think I said I was gonna talk about how to not show the timestamp. Now we'll have to go back and look at that, but it did actually add the timestamp uh, the current date and time to the end of the PDF that I generated. Again, we'll look at how to turn that off in a minute, but for now, let's open up our PDF and look at it. You see it's got that ugly template that it automatically created. It's got invoice 1001, and it's got all the information that it pulled from that row of the sheet and populated into this particular PDF. If I now went and copied multiple rows in here and pasted them over into this document, it would go and do that same thing over again and create those PDF and give them the name of those invoice numbers with their specific data in it. All right, we'll continue here in a minute, but first let's just look at how we can get rid of that timestamp. So back in AppSheet again, I'm gonna again go back to my automation. I'm gonna click my create PDF. And what I had meant to do was uncheck this disable timestamp here. Uh, and when I do that, it won't actually add that timestamp onto the end of this part of the file name. So now you see why that's called prefix is because this is the beginning of the file name and this is the suffix, the end part is the actual timestamp that it theoretically will add to it unless you turn this setting off. All right, once you do that, make sure you hit save up here again so that it updates your document. All right, so now we're back to the point where we're gonna make the PDF template look a little bit nicer than the current one does. And we basically just wanna make it look a little bit more like a invoice template versus that completely stock out of the box, you know, automatically generated one that AppSheet created for us. So what I've done is created an AI tool with OpenAI that basically takes the default one that AppSheet creates for you looks at what it is, again, basically just by looking at the column headers. It's not, it doesn't have access to your data. It's not looking at your data. It's just looking what, at what the names of the column headers are to try to figure out what type of document that is, and then creating something that looks more appropriate for that type of document than what you would get with that actual uh, app sheet default one. So this is the AI tool here. I'll tell you how you can get access to this yourself once we get a little bit further along here. But what I wanna do is basically just take what AppSheet created, so the content of that uh, PDF that it created, that PDF template that it created, I wanna copy that, and I wanna go into this tool, and I wanna basically just paste it in there and hit uh, this in order to be able to run it. So it knows what to do. It says, here is a professional AppSheet compatible invo invoice template built from your provided parameters. Uh, and it basically created this document here. You see it's still working on it, but it's got you know the company information up at the top with bill to, uh, who it's coming from, uh, the invoice number, and it's got a 
table here to actually show the item descriptions and line items and unit prices uh and then the, you know the subtotal and tax down at the bottom etc you get the idea and then thank you for your business it says at the end of it so it's basically just created a standard looking template if you wanted additional modifications for whatever it came up with you can just add them down in the chat down here say you know i want you to add a logo or i want you to change this to be something else I and mean, then it will basically make those adjustments for you based on whatever your instructions are and regenerate it right within this uh, view that you're looking at right here and once you've got it to the place that you want it what you can do is click this download up here and say you want to download it as the second option which should be a microsoft word doc x formatted document so i'm going to select that it's going to download that to my computer it's called invoice template. And now I want to, what I want to do is actually upload this to my Google Drive. So let's go back to Drive again. And I'm going to take that document that I just created and I'm going to drop it onto my Drive. And it should show up there. I'm going to open that up. I'm just going to copy the content of everything that's within this document. And again, this is the template it created and close it. And I'm going to open up the document that AppSheet created, so my default template. So I know that that is right here based on the name of it and the time that it was created. But if you go back into AppSheet again and you look at your task, you can again get to the link document by clicking uh, this view here. It'll open up that link document. And I just want to paste over the top of it the content of what I just uh, copied and pasted from my other sheet. Now, one other thing, if you start working with this and you don't like what you changed in a most recent version of your template, or if something breaks an app sheet and it's not working and you want to go back to something that you know was working, you can use the standard Google Docs uh, version history here in order to be able to do that. So I can go back, see version history. I can see when this thing was originally created. Uh, and if I wanted to go back to my version, my ugly app sheet generated version here, you can just go to restore this version and it'll bring it back. So if you start to run any problems or if you don't like what you created and you want to be able to go back to something else, you can use that option. So we've got that in there and let me just make sure I got, I'm on the correct version. I am. So let's go test this one more time. I'm going to go grab invoice two out of here. I'm going to go paste that into my document. I'm gonna wait a few seconds here. And you see now I've got this uh, invoice 002. If I open it up, it's got the format that we just created with, it, with the AI tool, uh, with everything populated the way that we wanted to. So all set there. All right, last thing that we wanna look at here is where these PDFs actually get created. So to figure that out, you can go back to AppSheet again. You want to go to your settings, which is the gear icon down here. You want to click information and you want to look down here and it says default app folder. So this is the default folder. It's going to have your own unique name for this that, that is created when you built your app. But this is the app folder where AppSheet is basically going to store all of the files that it creates. And you can actually go into your task itself if you want to customize where it's actually storing stuff within this folder. You'll see there's some additional options for that. But this is the base folder that you want to look at to find where those PDFs are actually stored. So uh, again, it's app sheet data invoices and then some uh, random number after that. So if I go back to my drive again and I go to my drive, app sheet, data, invoices, files, it's got all those files that it created. And you see that the last invoice that it created here doesn't have that timestamp on the end of it since I unchecked that option in the actual automation configuration. So that's how you can create PDFs from your Google Sheets rows using just Google tools. Lastly, I've pinned the link to that AI tool that I showed down in the comments. So if you wanna use that, you can find the link down there. And if you want to learn more about everything that you can do with AppSheet, be sure to subscribe to this channel because that's exactly what we cover here. That's all I got for today. And as always, thanks for watching and happy building.